Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave coming at you with more reactions with an X, and today we are continuing our series of videos uh, for Ruby, uh, doing some more videos that were suggested to us a while back uh, by Blarf and you know all the other great people who've been watching and staying with us. Uh, we're going to be doing the World of Remnant stuff, and we're going to be doing episodes one through four, which include episode one, Dust, episode two, Kingdoms, episode three, Grim, and episode four, Aura. Uh, thank you again, as always, for the suggestions, and you know, stay tuned for more great reactions. Let us know what you thought in the comments, and check the bumpers in the description for info on how to support Ruby as well as us. Uh, yeah, let's get going. Ooh, yeah, dust. Cool uh, shine. Nice animated dust. By definition, it is a naturally occurring energy propellant that can be triggered by the aura of humans and faunas. Faunas. But in reality, it is much, much more. Mm. Found in four basic forms, dust can be combined both artificially and naturally to form new, stronger types, each with unique properties. Okay. Since its discovery, man has concocted a multitude of ways in which to harness the powers of these mysterious crystals. From airships to androids, dust has made its way into practically every facet of technology. Some prefer to use dust in its raw form. Elegant, yet destructive. Those who choose to wield dust in this state must possess a certain level of discipline to ensure that their resulting powers do not break free from their control. Hmm. Dust ammunition serves as a more practical application in today's modern society. With the technological advancements in weapon design, warriors need simply choose the right cartridge for the job and pull the trigger. While this has become the standard method of use, it is not uncommon to find individuals still practicing more archaic forms of dust manipulation. Such as weaving it into clothing, or even fusing it directly oh. with their own bodies. Archaic, maybe, but Despite powerful. Despite working, fighting, and even turning a profit with it, humanity has still yet to understand how dust came to be. And more importantly, how their involvement with dust mm. will ultimately change the world of Remnant. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that RT animation video. You should also check uh, out RTX 2020. In Animation Fest? Oh, this in is Animation a Fest. Let's it's our 10th it. anniversary, which is really big, so come on down to Austin, uh, July 3rd to July 5th, with some cool signings, cool panels, come. and a lot of cool things. But I'm wondering if that's even going to be uh, actually Go going. Because, yeah. Who knows if that'll actually be going. Hopefully. Well, friend. Kingdoms! The world of Remnant is a dangerous place. Oh, the moon's shattered. Cool. Particularly for man. In the countless years that humanity has roamed the planet, civilizations have grown and fallen. But four have withstood the test of time. Only four? Atlas, That's a small... Vacuo, Veil. I feel like These four when you don't have that many, it's natural barriers and human to make things simpler. Have proven that they have the will but it's to nice about it. Each kingdom has a governing council to represent the people and their needs. Which next comes the military. While most kingdoms only call on its citizens to serve when needed, others find it important to be prepared. There are still those who choose to venture outside the walls of the kingdoms. Roaming nomads in small okay. villages are not uncommon. Yet neither is their tendency to disappear overnight. Lastly, the Huntsman Academies. These institutions' sole purpose is to train the next generation of Huntsmen. The next generation of defenders that will live and die to protect the lifestyle that they've become so accustomed to. So, so yes, basically. the world of Remnant that, is indeed know. a dangerous place, but the that four kingdoms room. stand as beacons of hope. 
Hmm. As safe havens from the darkness that surrounds them. They are the key to mankind's survival. As long as they stand united. Uh oh. Ominous. Hey everyone, thanks for watching out. that RT animation video. You should also check out RTX 2020 and Animation Fest. It's our 10th anniversary, which is really big, so come on down to Austin, uh, July 3rd to July 5th. With some which, cool if it's still going with, panels, with everything going cool on, you guys should check it out. Tickets are on sale now at rtxevent.com. Go there! Let's see, now Grim, okay. These go a little bit faster, it's a little easier to move through these. The creatures of Grimm. A ravenous, destructive force that covers the majority of the land. Mm. While often referred to simply as Grimm in the common vernacular, these cool. beings serve as the greatest foe to mankind. For as long as humanity can recall walking the surface of Remnant, so do they remember this wicked force. Huh. Many ancient cultures believed the creatures of Grimm to be animals possessed by evil spirits, or perhaps mm -hmm. the spirits of tortured animals themselves. However, further study, as well as the discovery of newer, more horrific forms of Grimm, does not support this hypothesis. With new creatures discovered every day, scientists perpetually find themselves with more questions than answers. While mm. very little is known of their origin, some key facts have been observed in the wild. First and foremost, the Grimm exclusively attack humans and their creations. While occasional skirmishes between wildlife and Grimm have occurred, these instances appear to be based on territorial provocations rather than a need for sustenance. Interesting. Fact, the common belief is that the Grimm are not obligated to feed. They choose to. What is perhaps even more unsettling is the basis of their attraction. The creatures of Grimm are lured towards negative emotion. Mm. In the rare instances when villages are capable of defending against a wave of Grimm, their survival is not guaranteed, as widespread panic will only lead to more attacks. Little mm. else is known about the creatures of Grimm. Keeping them in problem. captivity has proven to be an understandably difficult task, as the creatures tend to either die or kill those who imprisoned them in the first place. To further complicate study, the corpse of a Grimm will only remain for a short period of time before completely evaporating. Those who hunt the beasts for sport find this particularly upsetting, but of course. manage to get by with cheap taxidermic recreations and bombastic storytelling. Uh -huh. Although okay. the creatures of Grimm appear mindless, more delicate observation has proven contradictory. It has been noted that while younger Grimm tend to be more reckless, older Grimm, who have managed to survive their battles, have the tendency to learn from their experience and will exercise caution in the future. This perverse form of self-preservation allows the creatures to become more effective killers. And in the end, killing is all that matters. Hmm. It's an interesting enemy. Oh my god! Thank you so much for watching Ruby World of Remnant old episodes on the new YouTube channel. Oh, Remember okay, that's why. Remember to go to roosterteeth.com for new Ruby content, new especially for first members. Yes, it helps the people making the shows. Like, so, subscribe, and smash the bell. Do it! Do what they said, people. Alright, last one for this one, Aura. And then, uh, yeah. We'll do another episode of this in a couple days, probably, but hopefully you guys... Enjoy this one. Huntsmen are widely regarded oh, as the world's in... greatest warriors. That's a weird subtitle. While skilled in a wide variety of weaponry and hand-to-hand -hand combat, these champions are also masters of a Sun. much greater power. Aura. Mm -hmm. Aura. And... Aura is a manifestation of the soul. Right. A life force that runs through every living creature on Remnant, whether they are a meager shopkeep or a renowned knight. However, what sets true warriors apart from all others is their ability to amplify and control their aura. 
Aura is primarily used as a defensive mechanism, passively coating the wielder in a protective force field. It can protect a combatant from what would normally be a fatal blow. It does not, however, make the user invincible. As they receive more and more damage, their aura reserve will deplete. If this happens, all the fighter will be left with is his resolve. Fortunately, when a fight turns gruesome, a warrior can also rely on their aura in a different manner. Semblance. It's a term used to describe the projection of aura into a more tangible form. Hmm. For some, this could be the ability to control objects with telekinesis. For others, it could mean superhuman strength. The power associated with a wielder's semblance is completely unique. With enough training and focus, a user's aura can turn them into something much more than just a man. God, thank you so much. I like how they ended that with that one uh sorry let them do that again. Remember to go to roosterteeth.com for new Ruby content, especially for first members. Yes, it helps the people making the shows. Like so subscribe and smash the bell. There you guys go. That uh is exactly what you should do as always. And thank you for watching with us. As we said before, check the bumpers on both sides and the links below. Uh, we we're really enjoying this. I like getting through these because they're pretty quick and informative. And I was told to watch these a while ago, so hopefully we'll watch these. And you guys will let me know in the comments what other ones I should watch of these. So uh, thanks, and uh, you know we'll see you next time on Reactions with an X. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.